Hey everyone, my name is Hayden, I'm a full-time software engineer and welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to be building a Python script to pull down football league results information and display them to the user in our EVE CLI application. So what we'll be able to do is start typing EVE football table which will print out the English Premier League and then we can even add a little command uh, that says minus L to say for example give me the Spanish League One which will print out the League One in Spain. So now let's jump over to the code and see how we implement this. Okay so um, if you was following along in our last videos you should be up to here in the EVE project. Uh, we've got commands folder and a services folder and we're just going to be extending this. Just want to give you a, a little quick explanation of what we'll be doing. So basically there is this um, GitHub repository called Open Football, uh, which has a football.json, which um, basically this repository here, and you can see it's got all the previous league results. So for example, right now, recording this video, the current um, league going on is 2020 to 2021. So we're gonna go into here, and this is all the clubs. So you've got, for example, the German league, the English league. Um, so if you see here, en.1.json, we're basically going to be pulling in this JSON and then um, transforming that into a league table. Cool, so what you're going to want to do is come into your commands um, directory and add a new command called uh, command football.py, which will be this script here. And this is just going to be a classic, uh, similar to all our others, um, importing the various things we need. So from service, we're going to import uh, S service football which we've not made yet but we will do in a second uh, we need a context to pass information through this should all be very similar if you've watched my previous videos if not um, you know go back and have a look and it will it will all be obvious what's going on um, so service football dot football so passing a context to our um, commands is just an easy way for us to um, well, pass information through. So we're going to need a click uh, group and that click is going to need to pass uh, a context object and that takes a context object and this is our uh, football, uh, what's the doc string here, football results, probably something like that, what we want to do. And let's say football object is equal to uh, the context object above. And then this is where the kind of um, actual interesting bit comes in. So this is going to be our actual command. Uh, so for example, we're just going to get a table, uh, which will take a context object and a league. Um, so let's set this up in click world. So we're going to need a click uh, command, which is this, which tells click. Obviously, this is a command. Uh, needs to be two spaces there. Uh, we want a click option, so by like we want to give it the option to pass. Um, so you can pass off like minus L or a dash dash league, um, and this will be of type string. The help text here will be um, you know the league code to view. So if you pass, for example, like en1, it will be the English Premier League. If you do um, EN2 will be like the championship, for example. Uh, and by default, we want to pass EN1. Um, so that means, oh, yep, and we also need to do our click dot pass context. So the first parameter will be our context, and the second parameter will be whatever is passed through here. So let's now start fleshing out um, how we're going to do this. So uh, let's just add a doc string before we, ooh, let's just add a doc string here. So we want to say, um, you know, this is viewer table, uh, so viewer lead table. Um, it just is helpful in the CLI, it just prints out this kind of information. Uh, and the table can be equal to context.object.football.table. Um, so this will be what we'll make in service and that will return us the table. So now we've got the kind of the basics of the command now uh, set up. Uh, let's jump over to, and um, well, let's jump over to the services directory and actually implement this service.football. So uh, go over here, create a new file, um, svc underscore football, and this will load up in here. Uh, so we're gonna need a couple packages for this. We're gonna need uh, JSON, uh, we're gonna need URL lib, uh, request you could use request but it means adding like another dependency to our package and I don't really want to do that 
uh, import default dict, um, and then from date time import date time. So let's make that football class um, that we were referring to in the previous script. Uh, that's going to have a method on it called table, which takes a league, and that's basically so. For example, when we're in here and we're calling service up football, it pass puts on the object the football object. That's what we call down here, which we call table, which is this function here. So there we go. That's how it all links through. Yeah, so obviously what we're going to need is this uh, URL in here. So we want to come down here. This is openfootball.json come in here. Uh, and let's just pick EN1 just because it's the English Premier League. And we're just going to grab this URL um, and pop it back in here. So we have it for safe keepings. Cool. So this is going to be our uh, results uh, URL. The problem with this, though, is it's obviously not very dynamic at the minute. So um, I'm going to turn this into a F string and replace this EN1 with the league that we pass in. And this obviously only works in this season. So again, we're gonna to have to dynamically create that. So I'm gonna say this becomes season. Um, and then up here, we can say season, for example, we could also, the, let's get the current year first. So we can say um, datetime.now, uh, give me the string from time uh, year. Uh, give me that in an integer format. Uh, and then our season, I'm going to do something uh, basically an inline if statement, but it might be easier if I do it like this. So I'm saying if uh, datetime.now dot the month is greater than September, um, oh my gosh, September, um, then we basically wanted to jump forward to be twin, like this year and next year. But if it's less than September, then it's this year and last year. So the um, season can be like basically dynamic. Um, hopefully that does make sense. So for example, if it is greater than September, then we want to do basically this year and next year. So we're going to say the season code needs to be this plus the string of the year plus one. And then I only want the last two characters of that. Uh, alternatively, if it's not, then I want you to return uh, the year minus one um, and then the string of Why is that? Otherwise, I want you to return me the year minus one. Oh yeah, hyphen the uh, string of year uh, minus two. There we go. So you're either going to get like, for example, twenty twenty one, or once it rolls over to the next season, you'll get twenty well twenty one to twenty two. It just kind of works that out dynamically. Do that. We plug that in there. We plug that in there. Cool. So once we've got this uh, URL. Um, generated we want to use the url request uh, package to uh, open that url um, so results url as url um, and then we can basically just get the results so we can say json dot loads so you can basically say uh, url dot read um, and then decode and that will uh, give us basically the raw results back in JSON. Apologies if it's got loud. My neighbor has just started to mow their lawn. Okay, cool. Um, so let's print something from the results. Um, so if you look inside the results, um, you can actually, you can see the, the league that you're running for. So this might be just some useful information to print out to the, um, to the, uh, to the console. Um, so let's just say results.name. That'll be the name of the league. Uh, So you can just say I'm running for like the English Premier League, this will say. Um, right, cool. And now we need to basically, so as you obviously saw in the URL, um, as you can obviously see in this information, like it's not in a table format. So we're gonna have to do some maths to work out, you know, who's won, who's lost, who drew. Um, but they all follow this format of having a team one, team two and a score. And at the full time it's, it's team one score followed by then team two score. Um, so we can basically say then, so once we've got our results, we can say, you know, for match in uh, results.matches. Uh, so we're basically just iterating through this big uh, matches array now. Uh, if the match 
has a score, so if we can get a score from the match, then we know that this game's completed, because this, this repository gets updated all the time. So for example, depending on when you're watching this video, you know, the last game in this JSON blob for me is uh, up here. So the next game is match day five, Tottenham versus West Ham, which is on the 18th. Uh, which obviously that's not been updated yet but this repository automatically gets updated once the new results come in um, so once they do come in you know and you obviously keep running the script you'll have different information so that means basically not every game has a score yet so the only games that do have scores are, this, are, are the games that finished um, so what I'm going to do is just you know rip out so say you know if it has a score then we can actually start processing this information so um, what I'm going to say is uh, get team one get team two uh, and similarly get score one uh, which is score it was score and then the full time score ooh, full time score and then get index zero is score one and for score two we index one and then I want to basically work out who's who here and um, so I'm gonna make a very well I'm gonna make a function to do that for me so I'm gonna say match outcome is equal to calculate match points which takes uh, team one team two score one and score two and because PyCharm is so incredible I can just do that and do create function and it does it all for me uh, so let's jump up here now and basically work it out so obviously uh, if a team wins they get three points, if a team loses they get no points, and if a team draws they get one point each. Uh, so I'm just going to say, you know, if score one equals score two, they drew, so I'm going to return a dictionary that says team one got uh, one point and team two got uh, two points. Uh, else if, ooh, else if, uh, you know, s the first team score was greater than the second team score then that means uh, team one would have got three points and team two would have got nil point uh, otherwise in this event uh, the so if they're not if they're not equal and if they're not if score one is not greater then it's obviously score two so in this case is, is, is greater so in this case team one would have got zero points and team two would have got three points and I've missed a thing there. Cool, so that's basically just a quick way to calculate the match outcome. So there, now we've got a basically a dictionary of team one's points and team's two points in them. So the reason I use default dict here is because it's just kind of a nice way to pre-can, um, you know, find um, information for a dictionary to update. So you don't have to like basically check if it's there or not and then update. You can do that all for, it does that all for you. Uh, is a really helpful actually package or not package but you know utility kind of script built into python so i would recommend checking it out but uh, rather than reading into too much detail here just uh basically understand that i am going to be making every so if you if there's not an entry in this dictionary for um a team it's going to default their points to zero and their goal difference so goal gd goal difference to zero so basically you know if, if anything's not in this dictionary um it will just you know automatically default all its values to that so it's a really good way for kind of handling defaults uh so then we can come down here and say like final table dot team one um and we can just basically update uh, some information for them here. Um, so I'm just going to put, for example, the name of the team. Yeah, I mean, I, the key of the team is the name, so you could rip it out there, but it's just nice to have a kind of a, uh, a blob of information with everything in it. Um, so I'm just going to say the points here. So this is where the default dict comes in really handy. So we can say, uh, get me team one's points that they've already got, because obviously we're going to be doing this on like a cumulative uh, way get me the team's one points that they've already got and if team one doesn't already exist in this dictionary it will default to zero so we're like safe there uh, plus the match outcome of team one so that's basically just adding if they're not in the dictionary already it will add zero and their points or if they are in the dictionary already you know it will just keep appending their points so it's like a really nice way to just handle defaults and um, hopefully that does make more sense than when I explained it earlier um, and similarly, we're going to have to do the same here, but instead for goal difference, uh, yeah. 
Oh, but no goal difference. We don't have obviously an outcome for that. So for goal difference, we just basically need to say their goal difference would be their goal difference they currently have uh, score one minus score two. So how many goals they did score versus how many goals they conceded. Um, and we basically just need to do something almost exactly identical, but for team two. Uh, but this time we need to say how many goals did team two score minus how many goals did team two concede. And that's pretty much it. Uh, so if you quickly run this actually. Ah, uh, so, right. Yes, okay, fine. I've told you the wrong thing. It's not exactly the URL we need to, because obviously that is a GitHub URL, right? Not a actual um, uh, like data URL. So what you need to do is come down into their readme and basically you need to get this, this is the URL you need. So just take exactly what you see in their readme, paste it in there, and then all you need to append on the end of it is the season and the league. And now you can see we get Fulham FC, this is their results. Arsenal FC, this is their results. Crystal Palace FC, this is their results. Um, so fantastic. So the last thing that we need to do is obviously return the table. So let's say return. We Well, we want to sort it, I guess, don't we? We want to sort the final tables, values. Uh, the key would be a lambda expression where X is the attribute. And we want to say, get me the largest uh, points and uh, minimum goal and maximum goal difference. So anything with the largest points and the largest goal difference, sort that and return the table. I'll debug and run that. That should just print out one line now, which Everton currently is winning the Premier League at 13 points. Liverpool, Liverpool is behind them with 11, Aston Villa with nine, Leicester City with nine. There we go. So there's the kind of logic for the um, for the app, for the service implemented so we can not need to touch that script anymore we can close that we can come into here uh, we've got our table back here and we basically just need to make this look pretty um, so I'm just gonna come into here and uh, copy some code that I've done earlier so nothing majorly complex here we just take the table that we've returned which is the table you've seen in the previous section uh, we iterate uh, over the table and enumerating a iterable will give you the index and the object which I've called team here um, and we just click uh, we just click echoing out to the console the rank so that would be like first second third the name the points and the stats so let's run through what they are so the rank is you know first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh so that will be the index plus one because it starts at zero and then I've made this position number function uh, which I'll just put down here for you so position number takes a integer as an input and then it tries to map that to so like for example if the integer is one uh, you'll get st back so it'll be like first second will be nd third will be rd and if you can't find the position in that dictionary um you'll be th so it'll be like fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth uh, and then i just center them so that they're all nicely aligned in tables because if you just print them out obviously the team name is different on each of them so they can be bigger and smaller whereas if you put this little center on it it um you know gives it like equal the, the, the strings are all e the same length, so that it's nice. Uh, again, just get the name uh, and give it like 30 characters of padding, the points, uh, the stats, and the um, finally just putting them all together with rank, name, points, and stats, stats being goal difference. Uh, what do I want to do? I need to do pip install uh, editable this, which should go through and install everything. Perfect, and then if I type eve into the console you can see we've got this new uh, command called football fantastic so if I go Eve uh, football you can see it's got a table so I can type Eve table uh, and that let's do that again up here and I'll expand that for you so you can see it's gone through and then it's you know printed out the rank the team name uh, the points and the goal difference and you can add a little parameter called L uh, which then you can pass for example like the Spanish League one which will go through and try and um, print out the information there for you. So ES1, you know, this is the, you know, Real Madrid and this Barcelona.
Oh, wow, Barcelona are 11th. Gosh, they're not very good this season, aren't they? There we go. So we've added another command now to our EVE utility tool, uh, which prints out the um, Premier League or, well, any football league table that you pass in. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Um, let me know how you're getting on building your, your EVE app and what other maybe commands you've added. Um, I'll be interested to know. Thank you very much for watching, everybody, and have a great day.